Hi guys, I'm Stack Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and bringing a new series to my YouTube channel called Job of the Hut, a free to play farming guide that I hope most of you guys follow. You don't have to if you don't want to, you could just watch the videos to just see, you know, how this farming guide would theoretically go. If you follow it, good for you. If you don't, no, it doesn't matter to me. So the end of this farming guide is to unlock Job of the Hut, and as you can see from the intro, you're going to need a lot of journey characters and big characters to get and unlock this guy. He takes a lot of work. The main big like bottleneck in Jabba is Jedi Knight Luke. And Jedi Knight Luke needs Chewie and 3PO. So before I like describe anything else, let me just tell you the basic, basic, basic farming like plan for this account. So how it's going to start off is... Imperial Troopers, so that'd be Veers, Piat, Range Trooper, Moff Gideon, and Dark Trooper. Now, Moff Gideon, Dark Trooper, super easy to get. You can get, I got them within day one. So, by the end of this video, I had uh, Moff Gideon and Dark Trooper. Then Range Trooper, he's at like Dark Side 3 something, mad easy. Uh, Veers is like Light Side 4, so a little bit harder. And then Piet's Light Side 6, so that's kind of hard. But he's, they're just so much better than Phoenix. And then from Troopers, get R2-D2. Then with R2, Princess Leia, Farm Boy, Old Ben, and Princess Leia, all relatively easy characters get to 7 stars. Unlock CLS, then you have a good CLS team. But like without like the ideal CLS team, so you don't really have the ideal one. <coughs> you don't really have the ideal one. Sorry, I just was fucking dying. But... You don't really have the ideal CLS team yet, but eventually you're just gonna you're gonna need C three PO and Chewie for Jedi and I Luke along with CLS. So with CLS, after unlocking him, you're probably gonna want to get Raid on. I mean, it's gonna be relatively easy to get, but with the new raid system, nobody knows. CG really fucked up the new raid system. So, but one big positive for this guide is the Kray Dragon raid and how good Java is in it. So. He's the best return on investment in Galactic Legend Java. He's great in territory battles. Great in the new raid. Um, he's just good in PvP, PvE. He's just great everywhere. He's so good. But anyway, back to the plan. Got a little carried away. But the plan, after you get CLS and Raid Han, you're probably going to just run like Old Ben, probably like Princess Leia, and like Farm Boy Luke. So like probably some of the CLS wrecks until you get like more important and better you know characters in the cls team so first upgrade or i guess you're going to want to make to the cls team is probably going to get chewbacca now chewbacca you need bounty hunters job of the hut you need bounty hunters so kind of works out in that you're not going to have to gear any unnecessary bounty hunters to get job i mean to get chewy chewy should be really relatively easy the main problem is 3po c3po is just it's the hardest event in the game it's just a pain in the ass to unlock i've done it like multiple times 3po event don't ask me why but i've done it like at least three times it's took me like a week every time of like at least like uh five six seven hours of footage just to unlock a seven star th c3po and that was with like gear 11 ewoks so it's just a pain in the ass event but he's so, so good on that CLS team. So by then, if you by unlocking C-3PO and Chewie, you'll have Raid Han, CLS, Chewie, and Han. Huh, wait. Fuck. You'll have CLS, Raid Han, Chewie, and C-3PO. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then it's easy to unlock Chupio. He's like a light side seven. And he just transforms that team into just an absolute such a good team. When you get Chupio on it, consistently can beat Gas. Not really can beat Galactic Legends, but great on defense for Grand Arena. Just a great team. Other part with Jabba, he requires a lot of bounty hunters. You need to relic a lot of bounty hunters. Now, bounty hunters, a great faction. Great, 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 great faction. Helps unlock Chewie, who you're going to need for the guide. And just all around great faction. You just got to hope. You can use Fennec to counter Lord Vader. Uh, I think there's... You have to up upgrade Greedo, I think. And like Jawa, Mob Enforcer, like all these guys are just shit. They're just so shit. You're never going to use them. They don't have a ship. I hope Greedo gets a ship, but I don't know if he pilots one in the Star Wars like universe. So 
I don't really know how likely that is, but if he does get one, that, that'd be huge. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is ships. Ships are really important for the early game because if you can climb up in Fleet Arena, get to rank like top 50, you get some crystals. And those are just free crystals. And for free-to-play players, crystals are just so important. Like I'm, I'm a free-to-play player. Like both, I have two accounts. This is my old. I'm a free-to-play player for both of them. Crystals literally are so important. I mean, it's the main economy thing. You can wail on them. You can use them to get marquee characters that you like. Like, crystals are so, so, so important. So by getting a good fleet, you can get, like, top 15 fleet arena, and that's huge. That's perfect. So that's the fleet I'm going to go for. It's probably going to be... I know it's going to sound, like, stupid, but you, I know you need... Uh, the Millennium Falcon to get Luke, but a Rebel Fleet is probably not the best idea because you need to upgrade so many bad characters like Biggs, Wedge, like Scarecrow, Pathfinder, and Biston. Kind of need the the U Wing. Need Cassian. Like these characters are just not needed for anything. And for an account like this where you're kind of like rushing something, everything has to be with maximum efficiency. Like a factory, everything's got to have a meaning. There's no like reason for doing this everything has to have a meaning so there's no point in gearing up cassian biston and scarrow pathfinder because i mean they're only really good on a radis team even biston biston's not even good on a radis team so like there's just no point in gearing them up so the best i think the best fleet is probably a separatist fleet now i know it sounds contradictory but it beats negotiator hard counters it you can kind of beat rebels definitely can beat empire and it's relatively easy to get. You don't really need to gear up any characters because lots of the ships are unpiloted. So you probably the fleet would definitely be the Geonosian fighters. And Geonosians are just good early game just in general. Help you get Watt. Just great, great, great team. So just, you know, Geonosians are they're good. So gearing them up is not, like, a problem. Oh, sorry. And then another thing is um, the Hyena Bomber and Vulture Droids. You're going to need to get the Vulture Droid. I think he's on the Vulture Droid ship is on the same note as Iden Versia, which is huge because if you're farming Imperial Troopers, you got another Imperial Trooper team, even though she doesn't really work with those core five that I mentioned of Range Trooper, Dark Trooper, Moff Gideon, Veers, and Piet, but still she's a good team. And a Hyanna Bomber, I know that's a later node. I don't really know the exact one. I think it's like Dark Side 8 or Light Side 8. I know if you guys can correct me in the comments. But it's still it's necessity for Grievous, and Grievous doesn't really need much except the Geonosians, Hyena Bomber, Vulture Droid, and then Houndstooth. Houndstooth is just good everywhere. Another thing, you need the Million Falcon to unlock Jedi Knight Luke. You need it at seven stars, which means you need four seven-star bounty hunter fleet ships. My bad. And one of them, obviously, Houndstooth. Easy, great, Bosk is good, boom, done. Second one, Xanadu Blood. Great, boom, bang, done. Third, Slave 1, e- easiest one. And then fourth, either Razor Crest or IG-88 ship. Is That's the IG-2000. It's good on a Grievous team, so if anything, upgrading it to 7 stars would be good. But just, it's like, it's a pain to hard farm ships. Like, I'm, it's just a pain. CG's got to do something. If they double drop ships, it'd be so much, so much better. But... I don't know. They just haven't done that. But if they do, then definitely going to go for IG-86. But since they haven't yet, then as of right now, Razor Crest is probably going to be that fourth bounty hunter fleet. Now, the other thing I forgot to talk about is the other Jedi Luke requirements, which are like Rolo, Cholo, Lando, like all the shit care requirements. Wampa's good. Omicronum, Great Grand Arena. Hermione is good. Uh, Darth Vader's good. Uh, CLS, Han... No, CLS, Chewie, and 3PO are good. Rolo, Cholo, Lando are not great. But Sonastaros really transforms these characters. So they tra- she transforms Rolo, transforms Cholo, not really Lando. And for those that don't know, Rolo is Rebel Officer Solar Aragana. Cholo is Captain Han Solo. Uh, other thing is uh, she doesn't really transform Lando. But she transforms Cara Dune. She transforms Stormtrooper Han. Now, who's Stormtrooper Han needed for? CLS. Uh, Rolo's needed for Jedi Luke. Cholo's needed for Jedi Luke. 
Lando's needed for Jedi Knight Luke, and then the f- fifth would just be Son of Star Wars. And you can you can add Kara probably for Lando. Lando's not that great, but uh, everything kind of really falls into place with this farming guide. Every except like the bounty hunter fleets and this going for separatist fleets. Everything really falls into place, and Jabba's just you know he's the best return on investment galactic legend. He's great. He's great, 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 great to use. You only need the ultimate. He's easy to get. Uh, kind of. He's kind of easy to get. Only needs one relic gate, and it's on Raid Han. Raid Han is just... Raid Han and relic gate, like, it's just a pretty smart move to do. He's just... He's great everywhere. Can beat Jedi Master Kenobi. Can beat SLKR. Can't really beat C, but who's putting C on defense? Then he's just good in Grand Arena. You'll have Wampa Grand Arena. You'll have CLS team for Grand Arena. you have a Son of Staros team. You'd have a great ship team that nobody would be able to beat. It's just all around. I'm hoping it's just an all around good farming guide. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the next one. And if you need, if you have any questions about the farming guide, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, see you in the next one.